but I created this video for someone that desires to be a pastor's wife or someone that is a new pastor's wife. After watching this video, you will understand the positive part and also some of the negative part of being a pastor's wife. This video is also good for a member. It will help you to understand some of the struggles that your pastor's wife has. I'm not trying to discourage someone from desiring to be a pastor's wife, but it's more about I want to educate you and the things that I share is things that I have experienced personally. So if you are a pastor's wife and you may say, well, it's different for me, but it could be a reason why it's different for you. Not to say that you're doing something wrong. First, I want to share a little about myself. I've been a pastor's wife for 30 years now. Recently, we just celebrated our church's 30th anniversary. Ministry life is all that I know due to my mom. She was a pastor. She started pastoring when I was a baby. I create content about being a pastor's wife, mainly to encourage other new pastor's wives. So if you are a Christian wife, pastor's wife, and you want to grow in your role, subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. In this video, I'm going to talk about the roles of being a pastor's wife. One of the main things that I like about being a pastor's wife is that once you become a pastor's wife, you're going to automatically be a leader and you're going to impact and also influence people's lives. And of course, that's a positive thing, but you do also want to make sure that you are manifesting the right behavior because people are watching you. Another part that I love about being a pastor's wife is that you will be celebrated. Every year on my birthday, I get nice gifts. I get money. So I look forward to my birthday and also holidays. My church, they always remember me. Another thing that I love about being a pastor's wife is that people will respect, admire, and appreciate you for impacting their lives. And you may be a pastor's wife and you may not feel appreciated. So one of the main things that you do need to do if you do feel like that, you want to make sure that you are giving out to the members what you want to receive in return. And I guarantee you they will start respecting and appreciating you. Another thing I like about being a pastor's wife is that I feel like that I have a extended family and I'm so thankful for that because as a child, I felt so alone because my mom, she was not only a full-time pastor, but she evangelized full-time too. So she was away a lot more than she was at home. So that's why I felt so lonely. So when God called me to be a pastor's wife, it was more like he gave me beauty for my ashes, things that I felt like I missed out on as a child. Now I'm getting more than enough attention, love, and respect. So I do appreciate my church family. I would say one of the main benefits of being a first lady is that you will be a part of changing people's lives. And that's what I love the most because after being in ministry for so long, a lot of the members that we have now started out with us 30 years ago. And just to see how they have grown, how God have changed their lives for the better, it's very encouraging and makes me feel good inside just to know that I am a part of that. Money can't supply that feeling. It makes me feel good just to know that I work for God. One of the main benefits about working for God is that He does supply all of my needs. Everything that I have desired that was in His will, God has given it to me. And it's only because I put His work first in my life. So if you put God's work first, He will supply your needs. Another thing that I love about being married to a pastor is that I get to work hand in hand with my husband. What's good about working with your spouse 
and having something in common that you both have a passion for, it does draw you closer. And I would say it just creates some type of connection or unity in our marriage because we work together. When you're working into ministry and it is God's will, it connects you to each other. And you learn how to do teamwork and it helps you to be on one accord. Another thing that I love about being married to a pastor is that it teaches me how to submit to my husband and not only just submit to him, but just to pray for him constantly. Pray that God will protect him. Pray that God will renew his strength. It have taught me how to be a intercessor for my husband and also for my church home. There are a lot of cons of being in ministry, but I can say this, the pros outweigh the cons because it's just an amazing thing when you are working for God and you are in his will. It's a beautiful thing when you are living your life with a purpose and following the path that God has created for you. Another thing that I love about being a pastor's wife is that you will never stop learning and growing. When your life revolves around ministry and you're working for God, you're going to have a desire to want to learn more about God and just learn more about life and people, period, because that is the best way that you are going to be able to survive in ministry life. So, that will just encourage you to spend time with God, to do a lot of reading, not only the Bible, but self-development books. Another thing that I love about ministry, and I didn't learn about this until a couple of years ago, is that God will give you supernatural strength. When God gives you supernatural strength, whatever comes your way, you're going to be able to handle it. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but you won't realize your strength until you start going through some things. Just because you are in a life of ministry, it doesn't mean that you're not going to go through anything. It's just that you already have supernatural strength and God has already put grace inside of you to handle certain things that the average person is not going to be able to handle. And it's only because of God's grace. In the Bible, it talks about how that God's grace is sufficient for you. And that's one thing that I love about God. He gave ministers, leaders, he put something inside of them just to help them weather the storms that they are going to face in their life. God has given me grace in areas in my life that I feel that I am lacking. He has given me supernatural strength. And that's what I love about being a pastor's wife. If you are a pastor's wife, or if you are a Christian leader, if so, share who you are and what you do. Or if you desire to be a pastor's wife, also leave that in a comment as well. If you enjoy this message, and you want to support me, support me by subscribing to my channel, clicking on the notification bell, and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to stay tuned for the next upload. On that video, I will be talking about the cons of being a pastor's wife. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.